welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my first favorites video. I'm going to try and do these monthly throughout the year and this is my February favorites. So first I just wanted to say I'm sorry about not making a video for a week. Um, I'm still getting over being sick. You can probably tell by my voice it's a little nasally, a little more nasally than usual. And also I am testing out a different setting on my camera. Um, before I was just shooting in the straight video form. I also changed up my background a little bit again and I am also testing out different settings with my lighting. Um, I have them set up differently and in the viewfinder I like how the video looks but once I upload it to iMovie and then upload it to YouTube everything looks totally different so I never really know how it's going to look until everything's done. So the coloring looks like a little orange on screen. But I'm hoping I can play with that in iMovie. But anyways, so for my February favorites, I know it's a little bit late, but it's because I have been sick. And I'm not sure how exactly I want the setup to be yet. Um, next month might be a little bit different. This is just kind of like a test run. But I wanted to start out with skincare because I do have two products to mention this month. One of the things you might be thinking, well, Amanda, you just got that like a week ago. So how do you really know if it's your favorite? And it's because I've been using it every day since I got it. It's from my Birchbox. It's the Neo Bay Oxygenating Cream Moisturizer. And this thing is literally amazing. For me, my face is really dry, but it's also very sensitive. So I haven't really been able to find anything that works great for my face. And this stuff, honestly, I am definitely going to repurchase it from Birchbox. It's the best moisturizer I've ever used. This is what it looks like. They actually gave me like a really big sample size, so this will last me a while. So I'm really happy about that. Another skincare item that I absolutely have been loving so much lately are these face masks. These are the Tony Moly I'm Real face masks. I have a bunch of them, but I'm only showing you three of them today. This is the brightening one, the elasticity, and the moisturizing face mask. I like these because they're actual sheet masks rather than just like a cream you put on your face or something. This you just lay on your face and take it off after I believe 25, yep, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes and it leaves my skin feeling amazing. Another thing that I really love about these is the fact that you don't have to wash your face after. So if you're into somewhere that's not immediately accessible to a sink, this is great because when you take it off it's basically like whatever product is left on your face will sink into your skin and just make it feel 10 times better. I got mine from Amazon. I'm sure you can get them other places. I know Ulta does sell them, so I'm going to have a link down below from where I got them from Amazon. The next section is, of course, my favorite makeup products of the month. The first thing I want to talk about is the Benefit Roller Lash. My mom got this um, in a sample from Ulta for her birthday, and I stole it from her. And I've been using this like heck. I love this. When you look at the wand, you wouldn't think it would be anything great. I mean, it's just like a standard, you know, it looks like any other old mascara. But when you put it on your lashes, I swear it's absolutely amazing. It's great at lengthening and separating your lashes. That's something that's really important to me is because my lashes tend to stick together. And then it makes them look kind of shorter and clumpier than they really are. I definitely plan on purchasing the full size of this mascara when I do run out. Surprisingly, I only have one lip product to talk about this month, and it is a MAC Cream Sheen Glass. I've had this lip product for a while, but I haven't really been reaching for it lately. And this is in the shade Delight. Um, there used to be a Cream Sheen Glass that I had. I think it was called Partial to Pink or something like that. And it was my all-time favorite MAC lip gloss. I think it was limited edition or something because I can't find that color anywhere. So this was the next best thing that I found. And it's just like your perfect pinky mauve color, which is my favorite color for lips. So here's a swatch of it. And I love the cream sheen glasses because it's really moisturizing. Because like my skin is dry, my lips are also dry. Next makeup product is something that I also mentioned in a video, which was my collective makeup haul. And this is the All Day Wear Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I have been using this like crazy ever since I got it. It is the best setting spray ever. Usually, like, I always felt like setting sprays were kind of a gimmick. Um, I used to have the MAC Fix Plus, I've used Evian Facial Spray, I've used a bunch of different products, um, the Urban Decay one, but this is honestly the only setting spray I think I'm going to repurchase, and I've been using this like crazy. I used like probably like 
three or four sprays all over my whole face and I feel like it really helps to keep my skin mattified. Last makeup product I wanted to talk about and something I'm going to try to do in all my favorite videos is kind of like my monthly favorite palette. Um, my monthly, my favorite palette of the month, that sounds better. Um, so I'm going to try and use different eyeshadows every month instead of just sticking with the same old palette. And this month, the one I've been reaching for a lot is my Lorac Pro palette. It's really dirty. I've had it for a while. Um, I think since it first came out, so a couple years now. Here's the shades. They are all absolutely beautiful. I love these so much. So here's the shades. You can tell some of my favorites where you see... I'm a little dent in them more than others. The next three things are kind of random. They're kind of hair products, body products, whatever. The first thing is a hairbrush. And this is one of the wet brushes. I picked this up probably a month ago. And I've been using it like crazy. I use it for my hair when it's dry. I use it when it's wet. And honestly, I've been using a comb for forever because I know, you know, they always say use a comb, not a brush. And that's true. But the way that these bristles are is it's not tough on your hair at all. Next hair product is from Garnier Fructis. I got this on clearance at Target for $2.48. It is the Full and Plush Blumptious Blowout Cream. This is kind of just one of those little setting creams that you use in your hair when it's wet before you dry it or before you flat iron it. it smells amazing. I feel like Garnier Fructis, all of their products smell wicked good. Um, I don't really think they're necessarily the best for your hair, but this is really cheap and it really helps to keep my hair feeling soft and straight throughout the day. And the last little beauty product is this pink Total Flirt Body Mist. You can see I've used almost half of this. It's more of a clean, like, summer spring scent. But with this, the point I wanted to make is that I am getting spring ready with my fragrances at least, and I've really been loving this one. So again, in the beginning, I forgot to mention, thumbs up this video if you guys want more monthly favorites from me, and also hit the subscribe button right here, hit the link down below if you're on mobile, be part of the family, it's free. That way you can be notified whenever I make a new video, and you can come back every month to see these favorites. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Bye!